greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Yeah, over. My Christmas comes in my coyotes and my rat. My daddy's going to Iraq for the second time. When a soldier embarks on his journey overseas, he leaves someone to keep his home life intact. Who is your soldier and what is your relationship to him? My soldier is Adam Barus and I am his mother. Christopher Lewis and I'm his mom. My soldier is Adam Barus and he's my husband. How did you prepare for your soldier's deployment? Prayer. Prayer. We lived each moment to the fullest. We made lots of memories, took lots of pictures so that I could send them to remind them of the good times that we had. What items did you send your soldier while he was deployed? Well, the biggest thing I sent him, and he and his buddies really appreciated, was loaves of bread, Evangeline made bread. That was the thing they wanted the most. And I was able to send it, and it still stayed. It was pretty fresh when they got it. And so I sent, um, with that, the squeezable peanut butter, the squeezable jelly, um, Lots of things like Valentine's Day, I sent enough Valentine's for them to, to exchange with each other, knowing they wouldn't, but knowing that it would be a fun thing. Um, at Christmas, I sent them a little tree with a little um, tank that would go around the tree and stuff. And they probably never put it together, but I know they enjoyed getting it. Oh, number one on the list is Tony Sashry seasoning has to have his Tony Sashries. He said that can even make an MRE taste good. And um, things that he likes, like we send a whole big um, case of Mardi Gras beads, so it gets Mardi Gras. And uh, Valentine's, we sent sweetheart candies. Christmas time, we sent a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Lots of pictures, um, his favorite drink, sour in bottles, if I could, Barks root beer, cream soda was his favorite, beef jerky, Stuff like that, snacks. If you could give one tip to a mother or wife of a soldier being deployed, what would it be? Mail to him. Mail pictures, mail cards, mail letters, mail things from the newspaper. In this day and age with all the technology, I know the telephone and the webcams and the computers are easy to communicate with your soldier, but once the spoken word is finished, it's gone. When he gets letters and cards and pictures, he can pour over those for over and over and over. He can pour over those for weeks. Keep his spirits up. Uh, write letters. Just keep them coming. Um, I write to him daily. Just things his dog did, things the neighbor's cat did. You know, just, just to where they know that somewhere, someplace, things are normal. Stay positive. Keep yourself busy. Maybe start a new hobby. Anything to help the time pass by quickly. How did you feel the first time your dad went to Iraq? Dad first went to Iraq, I felt really sad. I didn't know it was going to happen to me. How are you going to help your mom out while your dad is in Iraq? I plan to help my mom out by doing everything the same and helping her with what, with what daddy would help her with, except going to work. Marching alongside our heroes at war, our heroes at home, protecting the soldiers' home life and loved ones. Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends.